Yo, what is up guys, Shinobi we be here back again on our video for you guys and today we're taking a look at the Bleach Rebirth of Souls gameplay overview trailer and then we're going to be doing a breakdown afterwards of what we've seen and what could possibly be put in the game based on what we got here. We haven't gotten a lot of gameplay yet, there's been a couple of clips on Twitter that we wanted to go over but I wanted to wait until we got an actual gameplay trailer just so we know for sure what we're going to get and what for sure is being released. So without further ado. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, because we got a lot to talk about with this new trailer. And, I mean, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Man, I've been waiting, bro. We've all been waiting. So show me some heat. Show me some bonkais. Show me something, bro. Do you want to fight? Oh, here we go. Do you want to win? Okay, the Zangetsu start off. Yo, hold on. Bro, we're going to have to do a breakdown of this. We're about to go scene by scene. Yo, my boy Zangetsu looking good. Okay. 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 Hold on. This game is looking kind of good. Hold on. Is this the intro? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're going against Biakia. Okay, sounds about right. Okay, we're gonna go over this later, but I'm just gonna take a look. Yo, it's going way too quick. Oh, so he's like trying to beat your. Okay. I kind of like this. Now, I know JJK had something similar to this that a lot of people did not like. And I already know there's going to be people complaining about the fact that this is an arena fighter. But in the sense of Bleach, this would actually make some sense lore-wise. This would actually make some sense. Because in order to beat your opponent or to, you know, kill them, you got to take out their soul chain. And in order to be strong enough to hurt somebody in Bleach, you have to have enough spiritual pressure to hurt them where you got to get through it, Right? And it looks like every single time you break through this meter right here, then you start to do more damage here. And it's a point system too. So after you break down the meter, you're, it looks like you're able to, you know, do an attack that knocks off a certain amount. And I'm assuming this gauge right here is determining what you can do. Now I'm assuming this gauge down here also is going to allow you to go Bonkai or maybe only allow you to go Bonkai at a certain point. It really depends, but we need to, you know, once again, we got more of the trailer to watch, but that I find is a little bit interesting. Really good mechanic, and I bet that a lot of people will be strategizing, depending on what you can do with this, on how much bars you can knock off in each one of these. So, let's see what else they got. Okay, so you gotta knock out all nine of these. Now, how's the parry? How's the parry system work? Okay, so yeah, I was right. So you guys, so this meter is how you use your, okay. So this is going to be like your Getsuga Tenshos and your Bonkai, I would assume. Okay, then you got the, is there a parry? Oh, okay, yep, Zamb Zamba Zakara. That was a Soul Destruction 3, so now he's down to 6. Oh, now we're going straight into Bonkai? How much meter did he need for that? It's probably not going to show it. Okay, Awaken. So how much meter do you need? Oh, okay, big hit, big hit. But how much meter do you need to use Bonkai? Let me go back here. So, okay. Is this what we're looking at? So, fighting spirit gauge. So, you're looking up here, actually. Okay. So, if you have enough gauge, I'm assuming, is that how you go Bonkai? Okay, yeah, you see each ghost gauge going up as he gets hit. And then use an attack and then knock down more of your meter. Okay, this could actually go kind of crazy. 
Okay. Voice acting's kind of smooth, too. Okay. Bonkai. Yep, Bonkai. Oh, man. Animation looking good for this. Ooh, that's clean. Ooh, we're looking good here. Okay, gauge is up. Ooh, my... Oh, oh, hold up. Soul Destruction 4, okay. Oh, Senke? Hold on. Senke? Oh, this must be the story mode, kind of. Yo, we're cooking right now. Okay. Oh. Oh, white? Oh, my God. Yo, this game is about to go so damn hard. Also, I just noticed... This game goes on Xbox Series S and S, which is nice because it's modern, Steam, obviously, PC. But it's also on PS5 and PS4. Now, I don't know if it's only because right now a lot of people still own the PS4 over the PS5. I don't know the numbers on that. But I didn't take a look. I thought it was only PS5, but it's actually PS4. But, all right. So, so what we got off of this, let me turn it down a little bit. So, based on what we got, intro is obviously looking nice is kind of like how Jujutsu Kaisen kind of did it, and this is going to probably make it a little bit mixed for some people, but you're not actually doing damage when you hit somebody until you knock down their meter, which, once again, in lore, this would be really good because, obviously, spiritual pressure and all that. Right. And every single time you knock them down, not only do you gain meter back here, but you also are going to be able to you know, knock down your opponent's gauge right here. Now, I think there's a parry system in this game. I think we saw it earlier. But this right here is actually kind of nice. And I think, hold on. Did that show... Okay, I think if you push... I'm trying to pause it in the right place. So, I don't know what button that is. But it shows a button here. And it looks like you can use some certain attacks once you hit a certain meter down here. And the reverse action looks like it's down here. So this must be your, like, parry or get out of jail free card, I would assume. There's a, there's a lot of mechanics in this game. There's a lot of... There, if there's one thing I could say right now, this is a lot of mechanics. Because as you get hit, obviously, you get this. So you could go Bankai. Then you got this right here, which I think would be uh, some meter that you could use. Like, there's, it looks like there's a lot going on here. But for the most part, as far as the main thing, knocking down the Reishi gauge in order to be able to actually deal damage to your opponent in a point type system is kind of nice. Now, I wonder how they're going to balance this because I would assume that certain moves do more to the you no know, number gauge than they would to this. And I wonder how it's going to go. So I'm, And it looks like it's kind of like an arena fighter, so this could be like a lot of hack and slash kind of. But... Yeah, that's not too bad. And then right here, it's like, yeah, as you get hit, you will get your Bankai. Now, I'm curious on how the parrying works. Because we saw... Because I think there is some parrying. Like, obviously, this is the story. But... I wonder if there's a way you can parry. I'm trying to look at, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to the reverse gauge, because, let me go back. I'm trying to pay attention to the reverse gauge, because I think there's a parry system that you can use here, but I don't know how it works. You know, there's a lot going on here, but, so far we're looking pretty good. Now, as far as animation and gameplay goes, we're looking, it, this isn't bad. The art style is, in my opinion, really good. It's not something I'm used to. It's kind of giving like an early 2000s kind of vibe. Which is, I mean, not the worst thing in the world. But uh, I'm curious if this is what it's going to look like for like Final Thing. Or if they're going to update it some more. Because this actually kind of looks pretty good. There needs to be a parry system in this game. If there's a parry system in this game, we're going to be good. Because 
I don't know. Maybe there might not need to be a parry system in this game. It really depends. I think there's a parry system, though. I know there's a block function. Obviously, we saw that. But um, I wonder how each character, as far as their Bankai go, or like their Shikai, I wonder how it's going to work or like how certain characters, Bankai or Shikai, are going to work. I hope they put Yorichi in. Like, bro, they better put Yorichi in here. And also, this looks like, like, once again, this is story mode, so I don't know if this is going to be just straight 1v1s where we're going to be able to switch characters in, like, Ninja Storm or not. But, either way, my most thing that I want, I'm curious about, is obviously the Bankai and how this is going to work. Because I wonder if, like, I would, get, I would assume, like, once you're in Bankai, the damage that you're able to do here should be crazy. Like, it looks like when you're in Bankai, you're able to do 4 damage to whoever you're fighting. With where your attack is. Animation wise though. We're looking good. And voice acting sounds like. They got everybody on board too. Like we're looking really good. That's that's what I got out of this. Now the one thing that I feel like. A lot of people are going to be controversial about. Is going to be the Reishi gauge. And how you're technically not even doing damage to your opponent. Until you knock down that Reishi gauge to actually be able to do a big attack to knock off meter. Now, obviously, a lot of people didn't like that with JJK, but I feel like the way they did it in Bleach not only fits it in lore, but they also did it in a way where it would make sense in a point like type of system. So it's kind of like you're doing damage to actually knock down your opponent's Reishi, so it actually means something versus where in JKK it didn't really mean anything to knock down your opponent's gauge in a way. But other than that, I mean, we're looking pretty damn good. As far as animation and, like, what we've gotten so far, I think we're looking pretty damn good. But without further ado, Shinobi be signing off. Let me know down below what you guys think of the system with the Reishi gauge, how you use Bonkai, how you're going to be using your attacks. I would assume we're going to get more gameplay later on as this game gets more updates and also a release date. Which, once again, like I said in my last trailer, I hope that they don't rush it. I hope that they take their time with this game, especially with Taikubo overseeing everything. I would assume that he's going to make this game the way he wants it and the way that he would know Bleach fans also would want to see it, being accurate to the manga and all that good stuff. Even though it does look like we're not going to Thousand Year Blow where that might be a DLC or something like that. It sounds like we're going all the way to the full Rockar arc, which means we're probably going to get Mugetsu. Maybe, but... Hey, without further ado, Shinobi be signing off. Let me know your thoughts and your comments down below with the whole gameplay, the style... And on top of that, the, you know, the, the gauges, how you use Bonkai, how you use your abilities, blocking, parrying. I want to hear it all because this is the first news we've gotten ever since the trailer has dropped at Expo. So, well, for the ado, I'll see you guys later. Leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.